Okay, YouTubers, what I have is two power jack 1200s. This is the version that takes 50 to 100 volts. It actually is the one that's made up with two 600 watt inverters inside a single case. Uh, basically, they're sharing the load of 1,080 watts of panels. Um, that's uh, basically eight Kyo Sierra 135 watt panels. And what you're seeing here is one inverter is putting out significantly more than the other. And um, but the combined wattage between the two right now is a little over a thousand watts. Now what I want to do is uh, unplug one and see what happens. So I unplug the one on the left. I'm sorry for the jerkiness of the uh, cable, but I have no way of setting the camera down. And you can see that the one on the right is able to go up into the 900 watts of power. Uh, what I'm finding out is the one on the left that's hooked to the uh, kilowatt meter on the left, it, it taps out around 600 watts. So I'm not really sure, well, just a little bit over 600 watts. Um, so I think there's something wrong with that particular inverter. That was the first one I bought, and I just assumed that those inverters were just poorly inefficient and couldn't handle that kind of load. And then I ordered a second one and just bit the bullet and hooked the second one up, and it is significantly better than the first one. So I think one of the 600 watt inverters uh, inside has an issue. Now I'm going to switch the load right now and hopefully the sun will uh, behave itself and give me ample power. Hold on. Okay, now what I've done is uh, unplug the one on the right and all the load now is on the, the other inverter, the one that I, I call the suspect inverter that's having an issue. I'm going to give it a second here to sync up and let's see what it taps out, uh, maxes out at. It's up to 500. Sun's still out pretty good. It's a little bit behind the clouds, but as you can see, it's getting up to there's 680. But nowhere does it ever get to the 800 or 900 watts. It just uh, you just can't handle that that load. 